Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? My name is Supernatural Kelly and I'm back with an inspirational word from God. Okay, so the Holy Spirit is saying, he whose mind is stayed on me will be in perfect peace. He whose mind is stayed on me, not me, but God in Jesus name, will be in perfect peace, okay? Let's go ahead and pray and welcome the Holy Spirit into this atmosphere and allow him to take over this atmosphere. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, for leading us into another word, dear Lord. Thank you, Father God, that you speak through me. None of me and all of you. Thank you, Father God, that your precious, precious sheep are able to receive this message that you are sending forth today, dear Lord. Give it to them the way that you gave it to me, and even better, dear Lord, help them to understand what you are saying in this hour. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So again, the Holy Spirit is saying, he whose mind is stayed on me will be in perfect peace. And that's he whose mind who stayed on the Lord, okay? Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, you will be in perfect peace peace if you only keep your eyes on the prize and the prize is Jesus our Lord and personal savior okay he is our savior and he's saying don't think about the worldly things think about me okay so I have a few scriptures now if you've seen me looking down it's because I'm looking at my scriptures okay we got Isaiah chapter 26 verses 2 through 4 in the English Standard Version. It says, open the gates that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter. Okay, so you only going to be able to enter these gates by faith. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Because he trusts you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Okay? Now, again, you can only enter these gates by faith. Okay? Through faith in Jesus. You, once you enter those gates... He is going to keep your mind in perfect peace because you're going to keep your mind stayed on him. When you keep your mind stayed on God and not the things of the world, he will keep you peaceful. And you're only going to be able to do this if you trust in him. Now, if you don't trust that God is going to get you through any situation, then you're not going to be at peace. But the Holy Spirit is saying on this day, keep your mind stayed on him because he is going to keep you in perfect peace. Peace. When you're keeping your thoughts, your mind, your focus, everything on him. Sometimes it might be a little distracting. But once you realize that you have stepped out of your peace, get your focus back. Get your mind back on God, God, in Jesus' name, and get your peace back, okay? Now, I have another scripture, okay? We're going to be coming out of Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33, okay? Okay? And this is going to be coming out of the New International Version or the NIV. This scripture is talking about how when Jesus was walking on water and he called out for his disciple to come and walk on water. And once the disciple took his mind off of God, took his focus off of God, he began to sink. Okay, so let's go ahead and read. Matthew chapter 44, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. It says, immediately Jesus made the disciples 
get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd, okay? He told them to go ahead, get on the boat, and I'll meet y'all at the other side, okay? After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable um, distance from the land, okay? Buffeted by the waves because the winds was against it, okay? So he came down from the mountain. He, he was going to meet them. Um, he noticed that there was a little distance away and it was really like windy. The waves was smacking up against the boat and it was a lot of turbulence and all of that good stuff, okay? Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake, okay? So he decided to meet them out there. He just walked on the water to get on out there in the storm, okay? When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. They thought that Jesus was a ghost. He told them that he was going to meet them you know, and they thought that he was a ghost. How did they think that he was going to get there? And they didn't expect him to be coming up, walking on the water. I tell you that much. Okay. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord. Okay. So then Peter was like, Lord. If it is you, tell me to come to you on the water. Okay? Because they thought it was a ghost. They like, Lord, if this be the Lord walking up on us on this lake, tell me to come to you. And Jesus said, come. He said, come. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid again and began to sink. Beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Okay? So notice that when he took his mind off of God and started thinking about the waves and how the storm was just so bad. He began to sink. God is saying, keep your eyes on me so that you can stay afloat in this season in Jesus name. Okay. Immediately, verse 31, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Okay. Because he's put his mind back on God. He put his focus back on Jesus. He said, save me. He took his mind off the waves and back on Jesus and said, save me. And it says that Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. And he told him, you of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? You Basically, you seen me performing all these miracles. You know, you know me at this point. Why would you doubt that I'm not going to save you? You think that I'm going to sit up here and let you drown out here when I told you to come to me? It's what Jesus was saying, okay? And then they climbed into the boat. The wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God, okay? So... I just, the Holy Spirit led me to that scripture in Jesus' name because when you take your mind, when you take your focus off of God, you will sink in this world, okay? Keep your mind stayed on him, okay? So that you can remain in perfect peace. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour. 
Don't worry about what's going on in the world. Okay? Don't worry about all of these different um, rumors, wars, all of the crap that's going on in the world. He told us that all of this stuff was going to happen. But by faith, through grace, you need to keep your mind stayed on God. Keep your mind on what he said is going to happen for you, okay? We in this world, but we not of this world, okay? And that's a prime example of how we in the world, but... Yet, Peter was walking on water. Something that no one can do unless they are actually keeping their mind focused on God. Okay? So, I pray that y'all are blessed to receive this word. The Holy Spirit is saying, He whose mind is stayed on me will be in perfect peace. Okay, he will bless you with all the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control that he has to offer to you. If you could only stay in peace, keep your mind on him, stay focused, believe, and have faith that God will take care of you. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. I love y'all, and I pray that you have a blessed day. Peace.